So, welcome back, guys. Today, we are continuing with our previous video. Uh, it is for microbiology supporters. Uh, sort of questions that may be asked. So, it is a structure of HIV. So, you can see envelope like a protein GP one ten D, then RNA nucleic acids, capsids, outer shell of nucleic capsid, reverse transcriptase, transmembrane peptide like a protein G forty one, etc. So, two important modes of transmission of this virus. So, important modes of transmission, many modes of transmission are vertical transmission, parental transmission. Uh, then STD etc. Then the what is the window period? For this window period is three to twelve weeks HIV window period. Then what is this? Identify the photograph. Explain the principle of this test and what is its use. So as you can see, it's a photograph of Western bloating. So it is. Many western bloating are used for many purposes. Here, as you can see here, the proteins are of HIV. So, it is used for HIV. It is a western blood test. It is a, uh, explain the principle of this test. The principle of this test is immuno blood technique. Then, it is used for supplementary test for the lab diagnosis of HIV. Okay. Supplementary test. As you can see, uh, for negative double western bloating, no bands corresponding to the molecular weights of non-viral agents. Bands at other locations cross reaction and antigens and non-specific to that are not specific to HIV. Then for positive test and bloating, what do we need? Uh, we should have HIV for uh, two of three bands. One to two of three bands. And that is P24, GP41 and GP160. For HIV to GP36 is there. Then the next question is hepatitis B. So this is the viral virus diagram of virus showing hepatitis B. Nuclear cap capsule is present H B C antigen and then DNA and uh, positive and negative strands, DNA dependent po DNA polymerase, then envelope HPS antigen. Mm. This is a structure. So the questions are right to important modes of transmission of virus. These are the modes of transmission of virus, same as that as maybe that is blood transfusion. Uh, blood transfusion, then uh, I mean, you need to prick injury, then a vertical transmission, sexual transmitted, etc. So, parental. The questions uh, what are super carriers? Super carriers are highly infectious and they transmit virus efficiently. They possess higher levels of HBS antigen and HBE antigen and they also contain DNA, polymerase, uh, etc. And this they spread more of uh, the infection more efficiently. Than the other carriers, they are known as super carriers. And this is the another structure for uh, earlier we see HIV, not HIV, uh, hepatitis B. The structure for hepatitis B virus. Then let's get into instruments. So, as you can see, this is. This is an anaerobic jar. It is used to create anaerobic condition for the growth of anaerobic bacteria. So identify the spotter that is anaerobic jar. What is its purpose? It is its purpose is to produce anaerobic condition. Okay. It is also known as Macintosh field field this jar to produce anaerobic condition. So the name two bacteria for which uh, it is used. It is used for Clostridium and Actinomyces. Actinomyces. Then the next one is this is identify the supporter which immunological test is used. Immunological test is this used for. So it is a micro titer 
plate for Eli of ELISA and it is used for uh, ELISA micro plate used for ELISA it is display test is ELISA so name one disease uh, each of the antigen detection and antibody detection used in this test means for uh, this ELISA is used as antigen for antigen detection for hepatitis B that is HBS antigen and antibody detection is done for hepatitis C and HIV so the next structure it is a HIV triad dot it's a positive stepped stone here right down two clinical stages where the both test may be negative in presence of infection so it is negative in presence of window period okay and the name the viral component which can be detected during the above mentioned stage P24 antigen can be detected then next question what is this as you can see here uh, it is a sodium hypochlorite solution what is the percentage of solution used for cleaning blood spills it is one percentage solution is used for cleaning blood spills so name two viruses destroyed by this disinfectant two viruses like rota virus hepatitis a virus etc destroyed then the next one is lysol okay lysol so what uh, which group of disinfectant does this belong to it belongs to phenolic compounds then why is this component not generally used for skin disinfected it is irritant and toxic to skin therefore it is not used then the next one is phenol so you can see here name two phenol derivatives phenol derivatives examples are cresol silanol lysol etc then define disinfection disinfectants is the process that destroys or removes most of if not all the pathogenic organism but it does not remove or destroy bacterial spores and the next one is formaldehyde solution so due to application of the given agent formaldehyde is used for fumigation uh, fumigation of the OT okay then preservation of uh, Mm, anatomical specimens etc then what is sidex sidex is neutraldehyde what is the concentration to be used as disinfectant two percentage of neutraldehyde is used as disinfectant then this is propanol so it is a propanol the given solution is a propanol. Uh, then the question give one application of this agent. So it is used as bactericidal and as well as fungicidal, but not as sporicidal. Then what is the effective concentration as antiseptic? 70 to 80 percentage is used as antiseptic. The name two other disinfected in the same group. Another two infected uh, disinfected are like ethanol isopropyl alcohol. So the next one is this is a given is a membrane filter give it to important applications so it is used to retain coliform bacteria in water and also for production of bacteria free gases okay so the next one is about uh, car culture media etc we will discuss that in next video so thank you guys if you like the video please share it and also uh, like the video and also share it